so we've reached the final two boards in this great battle between these titans of the game. The US team started the second half losing 14 imps to an excellent slam auction by Andrew and Tom, but then they rallied and pulled back 10 imps on board 6. The score now stands at 42-17 to the UK, and it's all to play for on the last two. Well, non vol I might open a spade, but vulner first of all, it's wrong, right? You don't open a spade with the sand. But second of all, I, I, I'm, I'm such a flexible hand. Why do I want to say spades just yet? I could belong in clubs, hearts, spades. Probably not no Trump anymore. He opened a club. Diamonds might be an issue. I am always of the oak to double if he bids one diamond, but Z is thinking about how many diamonds to bid right now. He is deciding between one, two, three, four. I, I don't think he can bid two diamonds naturally. So I think he, he's deciding between one and three. I could bid three diamonds. And try and get them up there. That would a great hand to bid three diamonds. But the match is going, and let's say I would say there's nothing really much in the match at the moment. Three diamonds is a bit operational. And Peter, I owe Peter Crouch some nice standard bidding for them. He moment. decided on one. Okay, I'll double. So this is four four in the majors. All right, so that's unusual. I wasn't expecting that. Quite an unusual situation. I'm going to bid four diamonds and put it to them. But I'm just going to pass four diamonds because I have uh, like 12 points or 13 points, whatever I have, and a doubleton diamonds. I mean, it is a little bit awkward because maybe we make four of a major, but I just have a minimum. Well, that is incredible. Because now I could make a slam. Eight fifth of diamond and a stiff club is a slam. God, he certainly got a lot of cards in majors. How many clubs can he have, the schmucker? Why are they not bidding? And partners, oh, wait a minute, what is happening here? What is happening? Why hasn't he? Why hasn't he? Why hasn't they bid a major? We're so lachal. And Sue is giving a slam. And I think probably got secondary four, four, clubs. Four, one, or four, five, three, one. I'm going to make a sick bid here. We play, what do we play? Black or do we play 1430? What can I do? If it's five diamonds, I just have to double. I am not sure what I'll do when it comes back to me. I do not want to double and have Adam pass it, but I think with Zia's uh, slow pass over four diamonds, he'll be less inclined to just make sort of a, a free flyer. I, you know, I'm worried, Adam, something like, like, let's say my partner right now is three, 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 four. Right, it could be a really smart idea to make a courtesy four spade bid here, and I think that has to be so that shows no flexibility in passing four diamonds doubled. Unusual for CZ, I think, in this long. All he's doing is making my life a bit of a misery because I know I'm going to get abused. And he's bidding four no trumps to ask for aces. Well, this became easy, right? So, I mean, now I can easily just bid five clubs. That's it, baby. Now we play. Double is zero or three, pass is one or four. He passes. Mind you, five club double would go for the biggest number in the history of the world. We played dopey, double is zero or three, pass is one or four. Give me your pass, my darling. And we're in slam, redoubled. Well, not redoubled, they might help the leader Trump. Goodness knows what's going on here, but I'm going to double because I don't want Zia bidding. Well, I do not love how this timed out, but I have no diamond losers. So what am I going to lead? So I guess Adam's probably four, four, two, three, right? That's, you know, sort of a hundred percent. Bizarre. I don't know anything else about this end. An interesting situation here. What is five clubs? I think perhaps leaving my singleton club makes sense here, hoping for a rough. Is that the two back? I'm glad I didn't pass five clubs doubled. Looks like I should play a diamond. 
I suppose there's no way the heart can go. Adam had a little too much. He did the diamond went trick and, and probably two hard tricks. I'll leave the four back. And I've got five. I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to just double four no. I really good fucking really good hand. I mean. Okay. Another class. The face of spades. Oof. That's a burn. Now I'm going to play a diamond and bring that to meta and just see what happens in the heart suit. I played this <laughs> sloppily. It hasn't worked out as badly as it might have done. If I wasn't so sure that he was 6'5", sorry, I didn't chat enough. I knew he was 6'5", the whole time. I guess we did okay. Yeah, I, mean, I, was... I was very sloppy on this hand. I was already, I, didn't, I should have played ace diamonds diamond and then, and then played a spade. Uh, spade. Oh, so I, mean, I knew he was 6'5". It was, it was 100%. I was, I was mean, well, we so dopey, didn't we, Peter? Yeah. Got the he must have looked it up quietly while we were in there. <laughs> I've got your notes here. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I wasn't looking, for, I wasn't enjoying my four diamonds when you started to think. Well, I'm I mean, sure you had at least seven or eight cards in the majors, and you're bound to have a stiff club whether he bid or not. So I was 99% sure you had a stiff club on the bidding. Sometimes you have ace fifth of diamonds, you know, like a nice guy but they, i didn't i didn't have a much of a hand i, I like the queen of diamonds here that was very tasteful no i played the three on the four four two three i played the three was good but the queen when you're winning the jacket of hearts with the queen of diamonds that's very that's very good <laughs> i tried to thought you might claim three down and you don't notice but it's all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you put the queen of diamonds you put the hand away three down <laughs> when the queen right, one more board before this torture is over <laughs> and I can have my champagne. I was a little quiet on that hand because I was a little annoyed. But then I realized because I thought I could double four no, but I guess they make five diamonds. Mind you, I wouldn't have doubled one heart, but maybe one diamond. Maybe I should. I'm not sure whether you went to double or bid a spade. Or I bid always bid. double with this hand. I, I'm, I'm probably okay. supposed to bid a spade, but I, I spades always... and hearts were the other combination. Right, maybe. you're definitely supposed to double, but I, <laughs> I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with this hand. Yeah, I was rooting for you to play in clubs, but I know. I like the way Peter Crouch doubled. He couldn't double seven no trumps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he knew what to do. I mean, the defense is there. I mean, it was pretty good. You guys were solid. I should have, uh, I was sloppy. I should play Ace of Diamonds, Rafa Diamond, and then Spade, and I claim that point. That's, by the way, also another Nike card. If I have the nine of clubs sometimes, I can play the nine to say play a trump back in certain situations. Okay. But not in this one. It wasn't this one. So not only are all these guys being super generous and giving their time for free to help us raise funds for our Bridge for Schools program, but now I find out that Zia's deferring the start of the champagne hour too. It's too much, guys. I can never repay you. Let's check out the other room. 10-point hand, lively distribution, but no aces, and that's why I'm going to pass. And also because my longest suit is nine high. I plan to do some bedding later. Nice looking hand. Nice looking hand. Am I going to distort it and open a spade in third chair? I don't think so. I'm just going to do the normal thing and open a club. We're just going to get in and make a normal overcall of one diamond, right? We have a good hand. We expect to bid some diamonds again. Maybe we even bid some clubs at some point. I certainly wish I opened a spade if it goes in no trump past three no trump, but no, it's gone a diamond. All right, well. I would, we don't have any special arrangements here. So if he doubles, he's 4-4 four, four in the majors. And if he bids a major, he's got four of them. So I, my when I have this five-card diamond suit hand, I'm thinking how many diamonds to bid. I could preempt. My choices here, I could Q-bid to show a good hand. I don't have a good hand, so I'm not going to Q-bid. I can bid two diamonds, but that also is, I don't think that does the same justice. I think I'm going to bid three or four diamonds here. 
Uh, I, no, sometimes I would be worried about missing a heart fit, but because we have 10 diamonds and, and partner doesn't have a double, uh, a power double hand, like a hand with 18 points, I don't think we have a game. I think my bid is just four diamonds. It lets partner know I have a five card support and a weak, uh, a weak raise. So that kind of gets it all going. And then partner will know whether they're supposed to bid five diamonds over four spades. Wow. All right. We are going to. We're not ceding control of this. Hand. Four diamonds. Okay. Well, that's a lot of diamonds. And now the question is, do I stretch to four spades? And I think the answer is no, I don't, because I don't stretch. And if my partner doubles, I bid four spades. I mean, I just want to bid six diamonds with this hand and not mess around. Uh, four diamonds should be weak. Um, I expect Tom to bid something to my left as well question is what what do i do to to show uh everything i need to show and is there any way partners gonna gonna continue here like are we gonna be able to have any sort of intelligent conversation about this hand i think this is the way i'm gonna start though i'm gonna bid four hearts this should not be natural because he knows i could have shown both of these suits over one club by bidding two no trump Right. So, so this has to be something in, in reference to bidding more diamonds. It's typically a, a, a natural bid, a second suit suggesting a, a contract, but you know what, I think I'm going to go quietly now. All right. So I have to stop and figure out what's going on with Rob's four heart bid here. Uh, neither bid really makes sense to me he's either bidding four hearts natural which it seems pretty much impossible because if he had if he had hearts and diamonds like five hearts and six diamonds a um, couple things would have happened one is they probably would have wanted to bid spades over over four diamonds andrew might have had a big spade fit um but more importantly, he Rob would have just been two no trump over a club if he's five six in the red suits so if he's not five six in the red suits then he's bidding key card, but key card doesn't make any sense. Uh, we do play one over key card for diamonds, uh, but key card doesn't make any sense because he overcall one diamond. He didn't power double. He could have doubled and bid diamonds with a really, really strong hand. So I don't really know whether he, which one it is. I, I, he's thrown a bit at me that I, 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 I mean, it must be key card because I just can't imagine in a million years that he, that he's five, six and chose to bid one diamond and now suddenly is trotting out with his five card heart suit. So I'm, I, it must be key card. And so Rob and I play 1430. So I'm going to bid uh, for no Trump to tell him that I have zero. Uh, it's not going to be good news for him. Um, I don't know what he thought my four diamonds bid. I, I wouldn't normally have a key card here for four diamonds. That's why four hearts key card doesn't make that much sense either. But it is what it is. I can't. I can't believe that that four hearts would be natural. So I'm I'm going to just assume it's key card and tell him I have none. Wow. Four no trumps. What is that? Well, um, if I double. Could that possibly be steering Tom away from a club lead and into a spade lead? Or, I mean, it, the, I'd also be testing their arrangements if I double. Quite like a double here, actually. Firstly, test their arrangements after the double. Uh, secondly, could I be saying to partner, don't make what you think is the normal club lead, but instead lead a spade? Maybe I'm being clever when we haven't obviously discussed anything like that, but I'm going to give it a go. Four no trump is three or zero, which means five clubs would be two without the queen, five uh, diamonds would be two with the queen. Uh, here, we've gotten the answer we wanted. Four no trump, not sure what the double is going to be, but we're just going to bid five diamonds and end it there. French hand, sitting there wondering if we've got to slam on when I... When... Andrew says one club, and now I'm watching them conduct a slam auction. Double from Andrew. Well, I've asked Gavin if, if he believed that Four Hearts was key card on this auction. So East is trying to use key card. Andrew's double to Four No Trump could, could mean lead a spade. He tried to show naught. Right. East is trying to use Blackwood, West is trying to show North. So, well, I'll ask uh, East if, uh, if Four Hearts was natural. I believe we agreed it to be key card. I 
around his counterparts. I'm worried he's going to lead a club and it's going to be made on a club lead. Well, King Queen Jack's one of my favourite leads. It's a good dummy. Well, I'm going to signal mildly for spades. In hindsight, we could have bid four spades if we wanted to maybe find out about the king of clubs, but we do need partner to have one key card to be successful here. So I hope we, my delay in, in alerting the opponents to this four heart bid didn't cause them any, any issues. I think it's possible Tom might have wanted to double hearts, but it seems unlikely considering he would be the one on lead in this spade. Key card? Well, I mean, throw me a curveball. I thought we said we weren't going to make fits. I didn't know. I actually didn't throw you a curveball. Crazy. I I went backwards and it said, oh, shoot, that might, it might be key card. I made the bid before I was confident what it was, but it ended up seeming to work out okay. I, I, yeah, so, worked very well. I mean, we're pretty close to five spades, aren't we? Yes. I interpreted it doubled as, for, as indicating spades. But... Yes, exactly what it was meant to be. Yes. Well done, yes. I, I yes. still gave precedence my King Queen Jack, but, <laughs> but I wondered where we were being phenomenally ripped off in the auction. But, well, we were sli uh, being slightly ripped off. Uh, <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. No, 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 not ripped off, but I mean, uh, you didn't do it. You weren't trying to pull I, apart. I, I, no, just, we were, I just had no, enough no. sense not to double the Black Widow. But. We, we would do fine defending anyway on this end. We would get club, club rough, spade, club rough. So spade, we, yeah. we start with four tricks, and then and then you still have to figure out the Queen of Hearts. So, I mean, I guess you would figure it out pretty easily after you the club rough and everything, <laughs> right. but, but right. yeah. No, I, yeah. I basically when you bid four hearts, Rob, I, I didn't think it was possible that you were introducing hearts. I was, I was that's what. Yeah, because I would have been two no. You would have been two no, exactly. Right, or like, that's exactly why I thought but it was safe. To be <laughs> honest with you, I didn't think it was possible that you had a good enough hand to key card either. So I was right, like, you didn't, I, yeah. I was trying to build it on on both sides. Well, it was I'm, like, well, I'm just looking at my hand natural. saying, I'm looking at my hand saying, King of Clubs, Ace of Diamonds. I'm in business here, like King Small of Clubs and mm -hmm. Jack Fifth, Ace Jack Fifth of Diamonds, something like that. I'm, I like it, but uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I I'm not how weird that is. Yeah, I, I think my four diamond bid is usually going to be weaker than that, though. I'm not, I'm not going to be usually doing that. You're not going to have a key card base. Two key cards, or yeah, except King of Clubs and the. Ace I just of wanted to be a little bit more. Yeah, yeah he wanted one, <laughs> one in a club control. Right, right. I, I not, not much to ask for. I mean, Tom would have had it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tom would have had it for sure. For sure. Tom puts down <laughs> the best dummies, obviously. So you know, I'm. At... <laughs> yeah, well bid, boys. Ah, thanks, Ed. Thank you. Thank you. All right, last okay. chance to excel. Lucky last. That's one of those reassuring situations where you realize that confusion in the auction still happens, even at these exalted levels. Well done to the US for pulling back another three imps, but I fear they've left the turning of the tide too late, as the score stands at 42.20 to the UK going into the last. Scope to close the gap, though. Another Flannery in! I might open this one Flannery, but I'd probably open a heart before I open Flannery. Oh, look at this. Come on, Zia, just shut up. A bit old manly to bid three and not four. Robson would probably get five diamond on my hand, but luckily he's in my team. Oh, he's there. Good old Peter. Solid as houses. Now... Took away our key card. That's smart. If they get to six hearts, how can I get double for a spade lead? I can't. It'll probably be a club lead. I need a lot for a slam. Ace, king of heart. Yeah, just double. All right, you know, that's better. Well, we'll see what he does. I'm not bidding a grand slam. Why don't pick a slam? I'm just trying an operation here. Let's see what happens. He is doubling. This is really unusual by a preemptive bidder. He's on the lead. So I'm just trying to get to a major here. See what happens now. His hearts are king high, and his spade is, I need him to have at least one of the aces. I got them out of clubs, which is good news. Whatever, I'm just bidding six now. Okay.
I mean, I don't know what the heck is going on here, but I have a pretty good hand. Now, this is a real typical auction where people don't know what the lead I want. I do not want a club lead because club is their main suit. So whatever you do, don't lead a club beater. It's not a lightness situation when they're having a screw up. Am I supposed to lead a club here? I, I really... Not a diamond. I don't know what's happening here. Zia is doubling very fast. I have no idea what that means. I need a diamond. He's voiding diamonds. He can pitch his club. He's got a lot of major suit cards. Oh, is that possible? Could he have... Does he have ace, queen of clubs? What's he double six clubs on? <laughs> so he's got that. I'm going to leave a club and prepare to look stupid. if He's got ace of diamonds. Oops. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, not the right thing to do here. This is not an auction. And not an auction to lead a club because I double six clubs to get them out. And when they made a screw up, they go back to I, I, This is such an area of confusion. I've been three hearts. I mean, you would bid three man. hearts with King Jack six and out. I would never bid three hearts with King Jack six and that's craziness. Zia, what do I show with three hearts? <laughs> I'm not going into it. I would bid six club. I don't care what he showed because when I've got nine, 10 solid, I bid it. I know that he might have King Jack six and out. Actually, you're right. But you're going to, this auction is going to lose. I mean, control. look, if he has the nuts, he can bid over the double. Like I already opened two clubs on a 17 count. If he has it, he has it. He can just bid. He bid five, no pick a slam. I don't know why he bid. We ran to six club. That is six. That's also six, Zach. You old Mahmoud, he can fool, put one over your eyes still at this age. I'm sorry, Zia. I knew I had to wait for the last ball to get some abuse, and I agree. It's I should... not, no abuse. It's, I, I, I was announcing in the breakout room, these Leitner-type doubles are so scary. And also, this happened to me with Hammond in the World Championship, an auction where they go from one contract to the other. How do you increase the penalty? What do I do? How do I get a spade lead? How do you tell me? If I pass, you're going to lead a diamond for sure. Yeah, I probably should lead a spade. I agree. I mean, I, look, it's, you should understand why is the guy able to bid six no? What what kind of clubs has he got? What yeah. suit is he running? I was yeah, that's very interesting. Hand. Sorry, Adam. I, could, I would just Sorry? bid six clubs here. I was much more focused on what hand you had. I don't think I can bid six clubs, dude. I could I be think, up I think it's easy, normal. So. You look, it's very eight, interesting hand, and I promise you, I've why, seen why this jump? Why would I go to a slam times. off two aces? It's really hard. And if you give it to my panel as a lead problem, you know, then they might get it right because they'll think about something, you know, like, oh, I shouldn't lead this. But I was thinking it's a diamond or a spade lead after the second double. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, I, I probably should pass this. Because I just didn't know what you were doing. To, you didn't you know they haven't got a spade so weird. I thought you had like a 22 bound. No, I've got at least three spades. Well, I was sort of surprised that, that you know, why Zach had part, not pass six clubs doubled. I was trying to work out what sort of shape he had. I thought he had a lot more cards in the majors. What's my shape? How many diamonds have I got? Oh, probably six. Six. How many All spades right. have I got? How many what? Spades have I got? Well, I mean, I, I guess you, they could have a five free spade pit, um, possibly. I like I was, it if I, nobody bid spades. They can't have a five. Well, I, mean, I, was, I was thinking at, at the time. I've got at least six diamond and three spades, I think. And okay. I've got at least two hearts. That's the thought process that could find the, the, that lead. It's a very hard hand. And you're thinking the Smucko double six club, he wants a club lead, <laughs> I'll make him happy. And it, I, I tell you, I know these things that it's so funny or so hard to, they're gonna play six club in the other room, I would think probably, and won't be the worst. If he redoubled, I was gonna run, I'll be honest with you, because I know- I should have, I should have redoubled. I, I almost did. I and didn't I know what's going on. If Adam I'm gonna run. What happens in six diamonds? You make mean, it. You're the only person in the world that wouldn't have been six clubs directly over five diamonds. No, okay. there are two or three other people. I'll send the list to you. Okay. One is in I, mean, I don't understand why One it's so obvious. Is Djokovic. Because my three heart bid is game four. I would not bid that with King Jack six to hearts. What would you do with King Queen Jack would, six to hearts? Th then I would go. you'd go one down in six clubs. They might be making five diamonds. How do you know? You're, if I have King Queen Jack six to hearts and out, they're probably claiming five diamonds. I have the ace. So what you have the ace? My, my point is this. That's one Adam, trick. You're not beating six. Listen to me, Adam. My thinking is this. It's not clear 
then you should always open two clubs, though a lot of us would, and I, I'm fine with it. But if you open two clubs, you have to take responsibility for the bidding. So I must bid slam. It's too difficult. I must bid slam at I my think next it's normal. Time. Adam, you do. You, don't have no, you must bid slam five like diamonds. I mean, I mean, I, you've just got to clarify what your hand is before it's something a pack up goes. If he doubled five diamond, what were you going to do? Stick it or bid six clubs? I doubled five diamonds. No, say you passed. I'm not saying you did. Say he doubled. Say I bid five diamond and he doubled. You're never going to stick it. If he if he doubled five diamonds, he went four diamonds. I think it's ridiculous to double five diamonds in my face. Try to get me not to bid, personally. Anyway, all I mean, right, guys. Good all good hands all right, everyone. Thank you so Wait. much. I didn't quite catch Zia's first example of someone who wouldn't bid six clubs directly over five diamonds, but I suspect that Adam may not be comforted by being of one mind with Novak Djokovic on this one. Back to table two for the very last board. All right. Well, we didn't do very well on the last board, and I seem to have another uh, pretty amazing hand. Well, am I going to open it two clubs? That's the question. I mean, the problem with opening it one club is that I've got a rebid problem. I'm going to jump to three no trump. That will be my rebid. But I'm awfully good. Whereas if I open it two clubs, then the problem is going to be that the opponents will um, potentially come in. But I just have such a huge hand. And Zia will tear me off a strip if I don't open two clubs. So I, I better really. I mean, it's a three loser hand. I've got to open it two clubs, haven't I, really? Ooh. So I'm not sure what they play this as. We're going to take a call either way. Um, but OK, so it's just normal and strong. Very nice. Uh, we're going to bid two diamonds. Uh, we have a very natural two diamond bid. We're, I mean, you might be tempted to preempt in this spot. Where you, again, your hand is too good. It, it has maybe some equity against a strong bid like this. You're probably not going to get too far out of whack. But really, I mean, maybe we just get to bid diamonds and maybe bid some more diamonds. Cloudy bit two diamonds as we have no agreements at all what we're doing over two clubs, but uh, two hearts over two diamonds can't possibly be misinterpreted. We haven't discussed what Tom's bid mean here, but for, okay, two hearts, natural positive bid. All right, well, Rob's gotten in there with diamonds. I have five card support, so I'm definitely going to want to make this as difficult as possible for them. My question is, do I bid five diamonds or six diamonds? Like, I feel like last time I bid to five diamonds and that didn't do it. They were just like, okay, no problem. Six hearts past seven hearts. So now this time I'm like thinking, should I, should I just bid six diamonds right away? But I don't like the vulnerability for that. So I think I'm just going to bid five diamonds. Uh, Tom has done well to bid two hearts here. That's a very good thing that he's got his first suit because if he had just passed to show values and they hadn't had any chance to show suits, then they would be really in trouble. Uh, but, but because he's got his hearts in the game, they're, they're going to, that are at least a step ahead. Uh, I'm going to bid five and see what happens. Oh, he's bid five diamonds. Okay, right. Well, um, so if Tom's got ace king of hearts, I make six clubs. If Tom's got ace of spades and King, queen of hearts, I make six clubs. I make six clubs. I, I think I've got to bid six clubs. Just six clubs. I mean, I'm tempted to bid, but I actually have an outside trick, the ace of spades. So I certainly don't want to get into this auction, or I certainly don't want to be bidding when I might might just be beating six clubs. All right, so I'm going to pass. With my heart tops, I'll we'll have enough tricks if we don't have... Um... We don't have an unavoidable top loser, so let's try constructing some hands. Let's give him seven solid clubs, stiff ace of diamonds, ace, king, third, spade, and two low hearts. That's a typical hand. And we're, we're well, we're laid down. Got that. Could he be missing the ace of diamonds? Give him eight solid clubs, the ace, king, queen of spades, the two red signatures. I he could have that. Am I better than he expects? I've got the singleton diamond, but how many diamonds can we have between them? They've got two diamonds, five diamonds. He's probably singleton too. Three low clubs, but probably nothing to, 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 to rough with them. May need the six clubs to get to my long art if he's 
Let's try, let's try another hand, missing the king of spades this time. Seven solid clubs, bare ace of diamonds, ace, queen, one spade, two low hearts. That's a respectable minimum, two club opening. And to make this, he'll need either hearts, three, three, or the spade finesse, or to rough out the hearts and get back with the six of clubs. Chances are that he's got one diamond and the hand will depend on whether it's the ace. It's an impossible guess. I'm going to pass. I, I've been thinking about this lead from the moment six clubs hits the table. And my thought process is as follows. Um, I do not want to, my choices are the king of diamonds or maybe banging down the ace of spades. I, I think the king of diamonds is pretty clear here because the ace of spades might in fact give them give them the contract immediately. If Andrew has the king of spades and some length, which he doesn't have to, but let's think about his shape. He has two or less hearts, very likely, right? He has very few diamonds on this hand, which means he has very long clubs. We know that, but he also has some spades. And if dummy has some spades that they can't get rid of, let's, let's say that heart suit is not going to run. Now we have two spade tricks that if we just sit back and are patient with them, we're going to take them. Okay, so I'm going to leave the king of diamonds. And we're hoping we take two tricks, right? We're hoping we just take king of diamonds, ace of spades, uh, or ace of diamonds, but unlikely, right? I don't expect Gavin to have the ace of diamonds here. Right? He, he has a weak bid, but he could have it. And if he does, we're going to see this ace of spades hit the table pretty quickly because that heart suit is, is pretty money in that dummy over there. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's a good buy. So basically now we are going to make seven uh, some of the time. Just checking. It'd be a shame to not have drawn the trumps, but now we can play the hearts out. And as long as they're not 5-1, then we, we can uh, throw our spades away. Rob will be relieved that I've got the king of spades. Well, it looks like the Ace of Spades was not going to do us any good anyway. So that is a win, right? We, we would have taken one trick, uh, but no more than that. Well bit again. Too, too tough, guys. Yeah, you guys were, 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 were too tough today. You were relieved, I, Rob, that I, I, I King of Spades there. King X was the panicking. dream holding there. Thank you, Andrew. You were panicking. <laughs> I knew you were. <laughs> okay. I was just talking. I, I, I didn't. Oh, I don't like of a coin decision. That is yeah, fun. well done, Tom. Um, that was good stuff. Uh, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. What would you leave? What would you leave, Gavin? I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's a tough lead. I mean, if I gave it thoughts, it's hard to, to say once I've already seen the hand. I just, I mean, I'm just figuring, like, he, he if he is if he's not at so extraordinary in clubs, which he raised to be, he might have some spades, and I might just be crushing us by leading these spades. The yeah, well, if I had the queen of hearts, if I had the queen of hearts instead of sure. the jack, it was exactly yeah. the same hand. Or if you had then... like five hearts, right? So. Yeah. That, that could have been in the. It was just an over trick. Yeah, you needed me to have the king of spades. I think it's pretty unlikely that I have the king of spades. I would say, right. like, oh, chance, like the, so. So I think the ace That's... of spades is just basically playing to give for to not give yeah. up an over trick. It's right. Like, it's a match point lead. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's much easier in Ips to, to yeah. stay away from it at least. Uh, gentlemen, congratulations! Yeah. That was an amazing. Uh, well played yourself. You well, well, well done. Well played. Final score: forty-two to the UK and twenty-seven. To the all right, all right. I mean, well, they just—they well deserve. Deserved, they definitely well deserved, deserved it. That six diamond hand was definitely the the winner, yeah, and your four spade bid was also a pretty pretty. And your and your grand on the second board. You guys were amazing. Yeah, yeah. You were coming awesome. back at us at the end, though. Well, gentlemen, and and Sue, thank you so much yeah. for this. Yeah. This was hey, a thanks, awesome. bunch of fun. Real <laughs> pleasure. So the U.S. team closed the gap by a further seven imps, bringing the final score on the match to forty-two twenty-seven and a victory to the U.K. I suspect the Americans would like to go on playing now that they're on a roll, and we'd all love to watch more of this great stuff. But sadly, that's it for this time. Huge thanks to all eight players. It's been a delight and an education to watch you at work, and we really appreciate you giving us all so much in both play and commentary. 
Viewers, if you enjoyed this, please do support us at patreon.com forward slash ntbridge. And don't forget that you can join the gang for free on our website, www.newtricksbridge.club. See you all soon. Thank you.